Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. It has been a long time, uh, but I'm back and I'm going to be making a whole bunch of videos on a whole bunch of new games and this is just the start to one of them. So I'm going to be doing a playthrough for this one specifically because honestly, it's new. Um, I played all the Kingdom Rushes and I think that all of them have been pretty good. It kind of made me upset that this one costed money because the first two or three didn't. But you know what? We'll just go along with it. And it was free for me because I have the play pass. Anyways, we're going to get into this game. And I'm basically going to give you my honest opinion. I am not going to read any of this. If you guys are into the storylines, go for it. That is not me, though. So we're just basically going to figure this game out together. Now, I already have played all the other games that are like this before, as I said. So I should be able to handle this no problem. But... I don't know. So far, it looks the, about the same as all the other ones. Different enemies, though. And the towers look different. But the game design is basically the same. <clears throat> so, Archer Tower officially is terrible. That is really weak for <laughs> the very first tower. Alright, but I am curious to what they're going to have in this game. So I'm basically going to be doing a full walkthrough of basically each level. Um, I'm going to show you guys basically where I have progressed through, how I beat the level. I'm not going to show you every new level. I'm going to figure out how to beat the level and then I'll basically make a video on it. That is what I'm figuring that I'm going to do. Um, hoping that um, I can figure it out and not push myself too far because I at least want to get a video of each map and we'll show basically what strategy to beat it. There's all obviously going to be multiple different ways to beat it, but I want to show you if there are upgrades, uh, heroes, certain things like that. I'll show you exactly how I figured out how to beat it and basically how everything went. Um, so for here, I think I'm going to do a mage tower and I am going to pull these guys forward more. So they're in between the two towers. We're going to call the wave early to get extra money. We cannot upgrade, which is obvious because normally in all the other games, you are never able to upgrade in the first beginning part. Now, <clears throat> this has always been my favorite ability, summoning the units, because especially when you get that thing upgraded and actually make them stronger, it usually is one of the abilities in my opinion that has always saved me but who knows it could be different in this game where the ability is actually not that good <laughs> all right now we have a hero i kind of want to get the hero all the way over here and we are actually going to have another barracks the reason being is the more people we can hold down the better um i know we can't upgrade towers which is obvious but we can use abilities and keep spamming all of our other powers to keep the enemies at bay. We are not going to call this wave super early because I do not want to lose, especially on the first match. Now we can call it. This should be no issue. Alright, down here in the bottom, what we're going to start is we kind of want to get an archer tower here. And then we're going to do a barracks here. Now, this archer tower, as you see, the range goes to about where these barracks is. So we're going to keep these guys right here. Um, if I do a mage tower, it won't really reach. But that's why we're going to have another barracks right here, kind of blocking it out. But I don't even think that's going to matter because we should be able to just kill all these guys, no problem. And we have won this round. So that was actually very easy. Oh, there's more enemies. Never speak too soon, I guess. But yeah, no, this game's pretty easy for the beginning parts. Once you get further, that's when it is going to get harder. And I already know that there's obviously going to be more strategic uh, ways to do things. But uh, I can't wait to see what this game has to offer that the other games, I guess, didn't. Uh, what's kind of different and new. So I am curious to see like how how much the game has changed from at least the fourth one. So this is the beginning introduction to this game. I'm sorry that I'm not doing the storyline. If people are into that, I could do an entire series of like actually going over that. That's just not something I'm into. I'm more here to just play the game. 
but uh, yeah so there you go that is an easy three stars the beginning part of the game really doesn't matter what towers you do okay it looks like there's a whole bunch of different towers so this is gonna be interesting unlocks at stage 10 okay Ooh, free unlocked with play pass Okay, so this, this kind of sucks. I'm sorry, guys. You don't have the option of this. If you do, awesome. If you don't, I guess that kind of makes me a little bit of a head start. So I'm going to try not to use these towers because I really, I, I don't want to use towers that you guys don't specifically have. Um, it, well, I can't use them yet anyways, but I still don't really want to use them. I don't know if you actually have to pay for them. I'm assuming you do. And I don't want to. I don't want to do that to you guys. Let's just put it that way. I really don't. Same with the heroes here. I'm assuming you won't have all these heroes, or specific heroes. Certain ones you will, but I don't think you'll have them all. I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll figure that out as we go. But uh, yes, so they do have upgrades, and it looks like you will be able to upgrade a whole bunch of different things items okay i but yeah i'm going to be going through this game and i will be figuring it out and anything that you guys would like to know we will be going over Ooh, portable coil so these so this kind of reminds me of like uh balloons tower defense where there's like just different abilities second breath Ooh. so you can revive your fallen heroes uh restores up to three hearts to players Ooh, so this this will save you from almost dying now this this is what makes me wonder when you do the hardest difficulty will this three heart thing work like if i do impossible where you only have one life would i be able to do it now there are different things there's all these different uh difficulties and stuff but that makes me wonder I can't play, it let me pick the difficulty one time, so that's kind of interesting. I did pick hard or whatever, though. I couldn't pick impossible, it didn't let me. All right, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of these videos, and I will be going through the entire game. I'm sorry if I make the game, the, the videos too long. Um, I will try to p pick areas where you can click and see things in the next videos this one there's not really much to see other than going through the game and kind of just listening to me talk and spiel about boring stuff but we will be going through the strategies to beat each beat each map and beat all of the bonuses the heroic challenges and things like that on each map so we will be going through that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to basically go through this again i will not be going on these spiels every single time this is the only one that i will be doing specifically for this um but each map is going to basically be like um, I'll basically do it, be doing map one heroic challenge, um, and then I'll be doing iron challenge, and then we'll be doing map two um, normal, and then we'll basically be going through, and that's just going to basically be the title of each video, but it's going to be like episode two, and then whatever the name of the map is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.